Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Divination Meditation. This month we are taking an inquiry card, a tarot card, an oracle card, augum and rune, compare and contrast and see what we can make of it. And as I mentioned last week, the inquiry card is at the center of everything and that's how we tend to interpret uh, this kind of spread about how all the other divination tools are relating back to that core inquiry. So the inquiry reads, what's the easier way? Then our tarot card is the guardian representing death. Uh, some keywords to think about this is sentinel of the threshold, trickster or lord of the underworld. Our oracle is the fox representing cunning, diplomacy, wildness and wisdom of the world. Our agam is 10A representing uh, holly. It's about balance and retribution. And then our rune is awas, which is the horse about balance, harmony and loyalty. So the inquiry card for this week asks us the question of what is the easier way and the surrounding cards have descriptions along the lines of sentinel, wisdom, retribution, loyalty. It gives me a sense of someone being on guard, having to be watchful, needing clarity of thought, a willingness to act and knowing what side that they're on. It would be impossible to successfully be in charge of something without knowing what you're doing, why you're doing it and what's needed to make a success of it. The question becomes, what is it that we seek to protect and are we being effective? Good intentions are all very well, but ultimately what shapes the future are deeds. It's fascinating that these ideas are circling around the question of what's actually easier, because ordinarily doing the right thing or the proper thing is not seen as the easier road. Uh, falling into a thought process that ultimately corrupts our personal integrity is generally thought to be the path of least resistance. But perhaps we're looking at the matter through the wrong lens. The results of right action and the consequences of wrongdoing are quite different if we're measuring things by how easily we're able to live with the results. What would be the easier way if we're looking at results? How many people regret adhering to their conscience in the long run versus those who violate their conscience and then are tormented for a lifetime? I think this reading is encouraging us to take a long view of our choices and to break free of the illusion that just giving in or going along to get along is somehow a viable path in life, which I think this is an overall message that's going to get more and more relevant to us as time goes along. So lots of food for thought there. Now it's your turn. Let me know uh, what's your impressions. Did you get any other kind of ideas? Do you have a different interpretation? Tell me all about it in the comment section or come see us on Blackbird's Brew on Gilded. There's a link to join us in the description box below and just uh, share your impressions with us. I think it could start a really good conversation. But that will do it for right now and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.